If you've ever wondered how Orthodox Jews travel to non-kosher destinations and still adhere and maintain their kosher dietary laws, then hopefully this video will help answer some of your questions. This video is also sponsored by Thrive Market. Thank you so much to them, but more on them in a little bit. Now let's roll up our sleeves and let's get prepping. <laughs> Traveling as an Orthodox Jewish family can definitely be challenging when it comes to maintaining a kosher diet, but with some planning and preparation, it is possible to keep kosher while on the go. My kids had a few days off for winter break. Uh, it was only two days, but we just wanted to make use of them and go on a short two-day trip away. So the first thing that we do before we plan any trip is we research the destination and the hotel to see if there are any kosher options available. And after doing a quick search, we found out that the hotel does not offer any kosher options, nor the town nearby. There was an option to deliver dinner from our hometown to the hotel that we would be staying at. But I heard some stories of food not arriving on time and having kids you know how it is i didn't want to risk food being late and the kids getting cranky so i decided to make a few simple on the go type meals to take with us and ordered some pantry staples and kosher snacks that were delivered right to my door from thrive market as you all know i'm a full-time working mom with a very busy schedule so i love that i have the option of making an order online through Thrive Market, they are a membership-based grocery store that have organic food and supplements and so much more. I love that I can just quickly click, 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 order what I need when I don't have time to go to the store and it ships right to my door. Thrive Market has a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. And did I mention that they have a huge array of kosher foods and products that you can purchase? I'm so excited to share with you what I actually ordered for my trip. I got a bunch of snacks mostly, plus uh, some pantry staples that I needed to restock up on. I cannot tell you how happy I am that I can just go online, click and get a few of my favorites. They have just good quality, organic. They even have it divided by certain dietary restrictions or needs if you're gluten-free or dairy-free or paleo or keto. All you have to do is just refine your search and it is so easy to navigate. I am obsessed with this Boom Chica Pop popcorn. It, the sweet and salty, the kettle corn one. I absolutely love this. I think I might eat it before the trip. Don't tell the kids. This time around, they're offering a free gift with your first purchase up to $60 worth, which is amazing. And they're also offering my viewers 30% off for your first order. And that's a lot, 30% off. And you're going to see that when you compare prices on Thrive Market. And so if you actually compare everything, you are saving a ton of money. So I would definitely make use of the code, get your 30% off and a free gift up to $60 worth, you are not going to regret it. So these are some of the things that I purchased for our trip. And like I said, to just restock some of my pantry items that I've been running low on. So I thought this would go really, really well as a snack. This is the strawberry uh, fruit like rinds, which is delicious and yummy. I love snacking on these types of things. These are also the dried apple rings, which are organic, which I just love that they're, they have quality stuff and they're all kosher which i you know refined the search and they were kosher this is a gluten-free farfel which is one of the gifts that i got with purchasing and as you can see here's the kosher symbol right over there this also came with a purchase as a free gift which is so so cool with different recipes and how to be healthy i cannot wait to start reading this one and i got this as a gift as well so isn't that amazing you make a purchase and you get all of these yumminess included in your order and again this is certified lactose free kosher there here it is the symbol right over there and yum i've always wanted to try ghee which is really really cool and i love that i can actually try things that i haven't that i haven't found in my local stores and they're kosher and it's just really really nice this is another snack that i love this uh, corn snacks the salted kind I want to start using avocado sprays as well so i wanted to get that i have something that i have to use up before i use this but i'm glad that i picked this up their organic quick oats is something that i love as well 
like I mentioned, I'm obsessed with this popcorn. I love this no added sugar cranberries. I love adding these to salads. So that's a yummy snack. This is perfect on the go, which is the fig bars. Really, really yummy and delicious. I also got these thin cracker, the brown rice crackers to snack on. Creamy tahini. It looks like it's really, really great quality. And I also needed some ground, stone ground mustard and some almond butter. So this is everything that I got. As for the actual meals, I kept it very, very simple and easy. The only thing that I pre-cooked and brought with me was a potato pie and a deli roll. I specifically wanted items that were easy to eat on the go and these were absolutely perfect. The rest of the meals like breakfast and lunch, I could easily whip up on vacation as long as I packed a few essentials. Although some hotels and rentals provide cookware and dishes, kosher observant families would not be able to use them. For that reason, I bring along disposables so that we may use them to eat our meals hassle-free while away from home and on vacation. Because our hotel room doesn't come equipped with uh, neither an oven or a stove top. We just had a little microwave there I decided to bring a Betty Crocker pizza maker on our trip Which was perfect for whipping up breakfast and lunches as I'll show you later on in the video when I take you along on our trip an absolute must for kosher observant Jews is a refrigerator while traveling to non-kosher places to be able to store all the food for the duration of the trip and thankfully our hotel room has one if our stay would have extended into Shabbat, then we would have made just a few other accommodations like bringing in Shabbat candles to light, a hot plate to heat up our food, and physical keys to our hotel as we are not allowed to use key cards as they are electronic. Now that all of the research, list making, and planning has been done, it's time for me to pack for our trip. I lay everything out on my kitchen island and counter and make sure to check off my list that I didn't forget anything last minute. The hard part is basically all done and now it's time to enjoy our family vacation. While my husband packs the car, I prepare a quick lunch to take with us on the car ride. We got these fresh baguettes from a local kosher bakery and I filled it with some tuna salad that I made and that was a perfect go-to quick and easy lunch that we were able to enjoy on the car ride. We did the typical road trip activities of saying stories, playing I Spy and listening to music. We did surprise the kiddos with some Dunkin' Donuts. We have a kosher Dunkin' Donuts in our area, so we picked up a box for our road trip. It's a bit of a tradition when we go away and travel, so our kids did thoroughly enjoy it. You can usually find a kosher Dunkin' Donuts by looking up on yeahthatskosher.com for the most part. And of course, mom and dad enjoyed some Dunkin' Donuts as well. As we finally get into our hotel room, the first thing that I do is head into the kitchenette and unpack my cooler. And being that we're only here for two days, there isn't that much food that needs to be packed into the fridge. For lunch, I gave everyone a thick slice of potato pie, which was very easy to eat and it was thoroughly enjoyed by all. Some had another tuna sandwich if they so chose. We tried to keep our lunches meat-free so that we're able to eat ice cream and dairy snacks throughout the day as we aren't allowed to eat dairy products right after meat. There was an ice cream shop with a kosher certification on premise in the hotel, which we definitely made use of on our trip. Later that day, we had a typical dinner that is our 
their go-to on trips and that's of course pizza everything was store-bought and brought with me on this trip all i had to do was put it all together i do cover the tables as you see with paper towels as an extra safeguard to prevent any foods from touching surfaces that may have come in contact with non-kosher foods previously You can definitely get fancier with your pizzas, but we kept it nice and simple this time because at the end of the day, it's the memories you make and not the gourmet foods that you had. The cleanup is super simple and quick, which I love because who wants to work hard on vacation anyways? Now a little bit on kosher water. Plain water with no additives is generally always kosher and doesn't need a kosher certification, which makes it easy to find and use when traveling. A clever tip to not get confused whose bottle is whose when you have a bunch of kids like I do is by writing down the name of each family member on the cap which we refilled and reused for the duration of our trip. I did bring along a salad bag so we could have some veggies on this trip and although there aren't any animal products generally in salads we still have to bring our own that is kosher because the surfaces that salads may have been prepared in non-kosher kitchens could have been cross-contaminated with non-kosher items for this reason we usually pack a salad bag and a kosher dressing when we travel i find that broccoli slaw mix travels well and doesn't get soggy and just tastes amazingly delicious Our evenings were spent eating kosher snacks, cuddling up together, and just generally having some bonding time as a family. Breakfast the next morning was super easy to whip up as well. As everyone was slowly waking up and getting ready, I made some fried eggs, and those who wanted toast to go along with their breakfast got that as well. Another great option for breakfast or lunch that we did, which is our absolute go-to, was grilled cheese and it comes out perfectly in this Betty Crocker and we did thoroughly enjoy these as well. Thank you for coming on our little kosher adventure with us. I hope that through this video you got a little sense of how we as an Orthodox Jewish family travel to non-kosher destinations. And if you would like for me to make a video on how I cover my hair and dress modestly while on vacation using the pool and the beach, then please let me know in the comments down below by writing tell me more so that I know that you're interested in this topic. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to not miss out on any of my future videos. It is completely free. Don't forget to check out Thrive Market for your 30% off your first order. Happy prepping from my family to yours.